Hey, what's going on, YouTube peeps? This is John Hiley with uh, Dent Trainer and today, Dent Trainer Media. Let me go ahead and I was getting a little reverb there. I'm going to turn down the volume here. Um, if you guys want to comment, go ahead. Uh, please, if you find value in this video and you have anybody that you know that could use this or apply this to their business, please share it or tag them in it. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, so what I'm doing today, I'm getting ready to take you into a marketing presentation. Um, this marketing presentation is some of the uh, techniques that we have used for multiple. I mean, I think there's probably uh, getting near to a hundred people in our inner circle group. And a lot of the folks that um, are involved uh, with our media events and they're involved with our inner circle are using a lot of these techniques. So these are some of the stuff that um, is tested, it's proven, and it absolutely does work. And I'm telling you, you can literally, by using some of these marketing techniques and paintless dent removal, you can double, triple your business. Um, just depends how many employees you have or how much money you wanna make if you're uh, just an individual who's just an entrepreneur. So I'm gonna be going into some slides during this presentation. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the marketing and I'm gonna do some screen shares here. I'm also uh, towards the end of this um, uh, webcast here, this marketing seminar, I will be uh, displaying my brand new website and I'm gonna show you some of the triggers that have absolutely uh, doubled my conversion. So we are actually seeing um, twice uh, the the amount of people that are converting into paying customers when they come through my website. And I'm going to detail it and I'm going to show you exactly why. So hopefully that helps out a lot. Um, so anyhow, let me jump into a screen share here and then I will display our, I will display some slides here for you. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just share the whole screen. And if I hit the play button, we should be good. It'll populate and should take over. Okay, so you can see here um, what I'm going to be teaching you today. And I'm going to be showing you um, exactly how I did this. And I'm not going to mess around with too much jargon. I'm going to get into some really, really good content, some meat and potatoes type stuff uh, that you can apply to your business now. So this is no holds barred. I'm not going to be holding back. And what I want to teach you is how uh, you can create happy high paying clients, you know, people that have big smiles on their face and they're willing to pay you more money than all of your competitors. Okay. So again, it's how to get nonstop high paying retail clients without spending a ton of time or effort. You know, I think a lot of um, the dent technicians and uh, the guys that I know out there, they get quite confused when it comes to um, what we're doing. They think that I'm behind the computer 24 seven and they think that um, we're spending all of our spare time uh, working uh, on getting these retail clients. One that's absolutely so far from the truth. Um, the bottom line is that you actually learn how to automate most of this stuff. It's actually easy when it comes down to um, uh, once you, once you understand it and once you understand how to apply the principles and you learn how to automate it, it actually becomes quite easy. And you literally can get a non-stop flow of high paying retail clients. I know some of you guys probably seen um, my video series where I was showing um, everybody in denttrainer.com what my typical day looked like. And I actually had you guys riding along with me. And I was showing multiple um, 1200, 1300, 1500, um, even $1,700 retail days driving around door dinging. And I wouldn't have been able to do that without this system. Um, so the system that I'm teaching you today, I'm going to show you some of these secrets. I mean, it's they're going to be controversial. I mean, like literally, it's stuff that you've never heard before. So I want to ask that you just keep an open mind. Um, my goal is to challenge everything that you've been told about marketing. I, I truly believe that. I mean, um, I've went through a a lot of people who tried to help me with marketing and they kind of did more harm than good in my opinion. I mean, some of the, the advice that I took from people was just absolutely horrible, absolutely wrong. It's some of the same advice that you're probably following today. Um, 
so like one of the big things that, um, <laughs> you know, uh, that people told me is that, you know, if I was really good at what I did, I would make a ton of money. And, <laughs> you know, I, I'm definitely not, uh, you know, I'm not trying to discourage you not to be good at your trade, but being good at your trade and making a ton of money, they they just don't um, – they have two separate sets of principles, okay? Two separate sets of principles, and I, I think you guys would understand by just think about this, okay? Think about the guy in your market that's probably making money hand over fist, and he's probably not even doing that great of work. Think about all the giant companies out there that really don't produce high-quality products or high quality services and they're making a ton of money because it's scalable. So you got to get that out of your mind. All right. So, uh, working to be the best at what you do and making a ton of money are two separate principles. And of course you should work to be the best, the best version and the best, um, technician that you can possibly be. Definitely no doubt, but that's not going to bring customers to your front door unless you can convey that message to them. Okay. So that's what this marketing seminar is about. It's learning how to convey that message to your clients and customers. And to be honest with you, even if you have people in your market that are better than you and you use these marketing strategies, you're going to destroy them. I mean, it's um, honestly, it's like having a secret weapon, a marketing, a mass marketing point of influence. Having a few audio problems here. I'm just trying to get that down in for you guys. There we go. There we go. So it's literally like having a weapon of mass destruction that is guaranteed to destroy your competition at the tip of your fingers. Now, if you're really good at what you do, good news is uh, that's even better. That means you're going to do even better with these techniques. So again, I'm just going to challenge everything that you've been told about marketing, and I ask that you keep an open mind during this uh, presentation. I mean, there's mountains of proof, and this is the first video of three. So I'm going to be releasing three videos, and through this, you're going to see massive amounts of proof um, that this system has worked for a lot of people that work with us uh, in our inner circle. All right, and if you stay to the end of the three-piece video series, there's going to be a special offer. I'm going to give you a huge uh, discount on something that you might be interested in. Otherwise, if you just stay to the end, I guarantee you going through this uh, webinar, I'm going to be dropping massive amounts of knowledge that if you buy nothing from me, if you literally, you, you don't want to attend any of my events, you buy nothing from me at all, just by watching this three series webinar, you are going to... Um, if you apply the principles that I'm laying down today, you're going to be able to double the amount of income that you currently make today. So just hang tight and let's just keep on rolling. Again, I just want to stress, this is nothing that you have ever been taught. In fact, these marketing techniques, they go against the grain of everything that you've been taught. Nothing that I'm teaching today is unethical at all. just want to let you know that. So uh, everything that I teach and everything that I talk about here is the highest amount of ethics that you can possibly bring to the table. You know, we don't want to do any bait and switch techniques. We don't want to do anything like that. I want to be able to, I like to sleep good at night. <laughs> you know what I mean? So after a day of work, I want to be able to go home, sleep good at night. I know you want to do the same thing. In fact, I'm here to tell you that these marketing techniques that I'm going to be teaching you uh, in this web seminar uh, are, it's absolutely, it, it is your responsibility. If you have a product or a service that you know is better than your competition, that you know that you need to deliver to the world, then it would be unethical, in fact, if you did not use these marketing techniques to apply that and get it out to as many people as possible. You know, guys, you should believe in your services at such a high level, at such a high level that you will do anything to deliver that message to your clients and customers to let them know and have them understand that you are the best choice for them. Okay. So that's something I want you guys to keep in mind that it would be unethical if you did not apply these techniques because. The fact of the matter is, if you know that you're the best, if you know that your service is in the best benefit of that client and customer, 
then you should be doing every marketing technique, especially the ones that work like this, the actual ones that work, the ones that are trackable, the ones that you're not writing this check that you just hand to somebody and it goes into who knows where and you don't know how to track it. You don't know where the money went. You don't understand if you're getting any results. That's not the type of marketing that I'm going to be teaching you today. The type of marketing that I'm going to be teaching you today is trackable. Okay. You understand your results. You gain control over your business and you gain control over your time. You gain control over your life. And I'm here to tell you, you become what we like to call in um, the marketing world a rainmaker. That means you make it rain, baby. You bring people to the door, okay? All right, so here I am. My name is John Hiley, and that is my wife, Angela Hiley, right there. If you guys don't know that we both host a podcast called the Tactical Dent Tech Podcast. So that's me and her out on a date night. and. Uh, she is absolutely amazing. In fact, we just uh, we're actually just launching a new podcast that's called Marketing Revolution um, that's going to be launched this coming Monday. So you'll be able to see that on iTunes. You'll be able to see that on Stitcher or listen to it on Stitcher or listen to it on iTunes. Um, we also manage uh, the Tactical Dent Tech group, um, which is a very active Facebook group. So any of you dent techs out there who want to be involved in a very active um a free group. And I like to say that because it's like a free world in there and it's actually worked out. All the guys in there, they help each other. We are the group that gives all the tech tips. We have tool companies that have giveaways in there every month. It's an amazing place. So that right there is my partner in crime. And you can see there that we enjoy, uh, she enjoys laughing at me and uh, I, I like to keep her laughing all the time. So that's what we do, you know? So that is my sweetheart, Angela. And I am the co-founder of DentTrainer.com, if you didn't already know. Dent Trainer is the largest educational resource uh, in the paintless dent removal industry. And being that I dropped out of high school because I really didn't like anything that they were trying to teach me, uh, being an owner of an educational company is um, very interesting to say the least. And I actually found out that that's one of my greatest gifts. So it's something that I feel, honestly, that I've been put on this world to do. I've been put here to educate, to share, and to teach people in a way that they can easily understand. What you're not going to get with me is a bunch of industry jargon. You're not going to get a bunch of, um, uh, you know, I'm not going to try to talk over your head. I'm just going to try to speak to you as if you were sitting right in front of me. You're my friend, and I'm going to talk to you in a way that, that we both can understand. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. It's that KISS rule, the keep, keep it simple, stupid. I'm also the co-founder of Dent Trainer Media. So full disclosure here, uh, we have media events where I teach marketing. I am a speaker. I probably speak five times at the event. I open it, I close it. And marketing is uh, above and beyond dense. Um, marketing is right up there with the, one of the biggest parts of my life. And the reason why I love coupling it with dent removal, because a lot about marketing is learning new techniques, learning what's going on out there in the world. And I will sit there and listen to audiobooks. I literally have over a couple hundred audiobooks in my device. And I listen to new ones each and every day. I'm always trying to educate myself. That way I can decipher all the greatest information out of all these books. And you get to cheat and just get all of the good stuff because I'm going to deliver that to you. I'm also a web developer. I I'm also a video guy, so I actually work inside of Final Cut Pro, developing, shooting, cutting videos. I am a ad specialist on Facebook. I'm an ad specialist on Google AdWords. Um, I'm also into Photoshop, and I am a social media guy, so I love it, and I've actually went to the point where I've uh, recently hired a guy. I actually paid him $10,000 to teach me how to amp up my Instagram. And he actually had wrote the book on Instagram, which is quite interesting. I bought his book and I bought some of his courses and then I paid him to coach me. Uh, so you are going to be, when people come to my media event, I have the ability to get a lot of high-end information and I'm able to deliver that information to the people who come to the event or the people that watch these seminars. I am again, uh, me and my wifey there, the Tactical Dent Tech Podcast. I already went over that with you. 
So I want to tell you guys, um, let me go through this here. So guys, look, I've done a lot of things right, but I've also done a lot of things wrong, okay? So I've been in this industry for over 15 years, and I mean, I went through the school of hard knocks, okay? Like literally, I did anything and everything that I could to learn all of this stuff. I mean, I spent winter times in my basement um, spending weeks on just creating ads or learning how to run Google AdWords, taking courses. I mean, I have probably done well over, uh, if I was to guess, it would be near 100 online educational courses on everything from Photoshop to video editing to um, learning how to do Google AdWords to learning how to uh, work inside of Facebook. I mean, everything that you can imagine. And I have made a lot of mistakes during that time. I've spent a ton of money testing. Guys, a ton of money testing these techniques and these, these things. And what I'm here to tell you, there's two ways to do it. You can either just learn from my mistakes and you will, will not have to deal with them years of nightmare uh, weeks where I'm trying to learn this stuff and I'm scratching my head and I'm, I'm, you know, I've got problems and you learn how to become a really good troubleshooter. I actually built denttrainer.com with my business partner, Mike Toledo. And all the troubleshooting that we had to do on that was insane. There was problems that came up where it took us a week to fix and to repair. And <laughs> just take it from me. Uh, if you can just learn from my lessons and keep your mind open and listen to this marketing presentation, you'd be much better off than trying to learn everything on your own because I've already went through all the, all the um, hard times. I've already done all the wrong things. You don't want to make the mistakes that I made. That's why I'm creating this video here. That's actually why we created uh, doing um, we, we created denttrainer.com because we learned from the school of hard knocks, you know? And uh, so after doing this uh, for 15 years, uh, one of the things that I had realized, one of the greatest realizations that came to me is that we are in the marketing business, okay? It does not matter what business you are in. If you absolutely cannot get people to come to your front door and uh, buy your services or to come to your website and call you, you do not have a business, okay? It does not matter how good you are at the repair method. You have to be great at getting the people coming through your front door. And it can be very easy. It can be automated. It can be set up to where you, you, you just, your phone just continuously rings. You have clients and customers coming to you without no effort on your part. But you got you to keep in mind, you've got to automate it. You've got to put systems in your business. That's a key to success. So it's very easy to, to dominate the market right now with a little bit of guidance. Okay, that's something that I learned about the paintless dent removal industry. If you actually look around and you look a lot, at a lot of people's marketing, it's very poor. Okay. Now, if you look at some of the people that came to our event, you're going to see them guys popping up everywhere with absolutely amazing photos, amazing marketing. And I mean, you're going to see some contenders popping up all over this country, all over the world, actually. But what I found is, is that the marketing in this industry is quite bad. Very, very bad, actually. And that's why you hear so many technicians claiming that the only thing that the customer cares about is price. When typically, and in, actually in all cases, Price is, is the last thing on anybody's mind when they purchase a service. I mean, we've just done such a poor job at communicating the value of our companies to the client and customer that that's the, well, the very last thing. That's the only thing that they actually have to make their decision on. So we're talking a lot about that kind of stuff. All right. And the next thing that I learned, it doesn't matter, again, how good of a tech you are. If no one is there to buy your services, then... You could be a great tech, but if you don't have any metal to push, you are going to go broke, my friend, and that's not what you want in business. So again, I discovered this the hard way. You get to cheat and get the easy way. The hard way. 
selling on price. Oh my God. I mean, if that is the very last thing that you're down to, that you've got to sell on price, then you literally have not conveyed any message to your client and customer that there's any difference between you and anybody else. And with all the bad repairs out there, with all the nightmare stories, with all the gypsies running around, consumer awareness should be on point in this industry. Another thing the hard way is settling for cheap accounts just to keep food on the table. We know how hard that is. We know how bad the car dealers treat us. We understand that you know they, they, uh, they bring us in there. They look down on us. Um, they want us to do everything for nothing. They treat us like we're a commodity. They're ready to just replace us at any time. Now, I'm not saying every car dealership is like that, but when you settle for the cheapo accounts just to keep the food on the table, that's the hard way to do business. The next way is relying on other people to do the selling for you and giving them half of your profit. So again, now we're relying on other people to market and sell for us just to give them half of our profit. So now we got to work twice as long. Just imagine if you could sell to the point or you could market yourself to the point to where it was very easy to get into account and you got 100% of the profit. You got 100%, you could work half the amount of time and you could spend the other half of the time living the quality life that you want or you could double your income. You could work the same amount of hours and double your income. Okay, so in the past week, I've booked over $5,000 in high-paying retail clients, and I did not haggle or talk to any one person on the phone. And um, I'm going to go through this and kind of tell you, uh, tell you how that actually happened, how that went down. And I'm going to tell you a little disclaimer here because results are not typical. So the results that I'm going to tell you about me, about some of the clients, about some of the people that um, come out and they take our training, they are not typical because most people learn this stuff and they don't even apply it. Like you could literally sit 10 billionaires in a room and you could give all 10 of them the exact formula for exactly what they wanted and probably one of them would do it. And we're talking about billionaires, okay? So what I'm telling you here is, guys, if you really want this and you really want this to impact your life and you really want to grow your sales, you want to become bigger and better and stronger, then you have to do the work. Now, literally, you could put one hour in per week to develop the system that I'm proposing to you, and you could have the system up and rolling in one month. And then after that, you could put one hour of maintenance every two weeks and absolutely kill it. I mean, that is a very small investment to raise your prices, claim more time. I was actually talking to somebody one time. I said, uh, I, I was actually talking to, um, uh, I was coaching another dent technician. And he said, you know, he was telling me how busy he was, but he had a, got a lot of price shoppers, a lot of hagglers. And, and he was talking about how busy he was, though, all the time, like how it's just he's like, man, this is just crazy, John. I'm working all these hours, man, you know, but I, I just don't feel like I'm, you know, getting what I'm worth and all this kind of stuff. I said, well, why don't you double your prices? He said, well, I, I would lose half of my customers. I stopped and paused. I said, listen to what I just said there. I said, double your prices. And you said you would lose half of your customers. So that means you would be working half the amount of time that you're working today, but you would be getting the exact same amount that you are receiving today. He just kind of stopped and paused and looked at me. Now, here's the key, guys. I want you guys to think about this, all right? Productivity is not the same as being busy. Being productive is not busy, okay? You can be busy and you can be very unproductive, but if you're productive, and you're busy being productive, you are going to cover so much ground because the definition of productive is getting massive results with basically dispensing uh, as little energy as possible. So keep that in mind, okay? Hard work does not boil down to big money. Pro uh, being productive does. All right, the three secrets that I'm going to tell you guys about today. One of them is the blind archer trap. The second one is USP, 
a unique selling proposition. And the third one is market positioning. So right here is the blindfolded archer trap, okay? And this is where we actually get into uh, a system or we get into a, um, a business where we have no control at all. We don't know when the phone's going to ring, ring next. We don't know how busy we're going to be next week or how busy we're going to be this week because you can't hit a target that you cannot see. You have to be able to create systems in your business. You have to be able to create create and uh, automate systems inside of your business to where you know that you can hit the target every time. It's predictable. It's scalable, meaning that you can you can hit a button. you got like a magic switch in your business where you turn it on and business comes in and you act absolutely understand what that cost, okay? So you know, you understand what your customer acquisition cost. And here's a little trick to, to tell you guys what you should do. I'm going to tell you what you should not do. Never do any advertisement at all that you cannot track the results, okay? If you cannot track the results, do not do it. And I'm going to talk a lot about the technical side of the advertisement in the second video. But this video, I just want you to get the understanding of where we're going, okay? So this is the blind archer trap. This is when you're in your business. You, you have no idea what the target is. All you know is that your phone's ringing. You're doing this. You're doing that. You have no control whatsoever over the flow of your client, your customers. You've, um, you're just sitting here. You're blind. You're trying to hit a target you can't even see. So one of the first things that you need to know to get out of the blind archer trap is who exactly is your customer? This is your, it's actually called your avatar. Who exactly are they? Are they male? Are they female? How much money do they make a week, a month, a year? Uh, where do they live? What do they do? Uh, do they like to go golfing? You know, you actually develop a client, a customer in mind. And the best bet is if you actually got there and just Google, um, you know, like avatar creation or, uh, you know, customer creation, you can actually find all kinds of different forms and things like that, that you can begin building out this avatar. And one of the things that I tell you to go really, really quick on this is just think about somebody in uh, that you've done work for before that you would love to have that guy or that, that female or whatever, you know, um, you would like to have a hundred of them or 200 of them. And if you had that exact type of person, that your business would be booming forever, okay? And then you spend your time looking for that person. You find that target, okay? So you create your avatar, who they are. Now, you got to find out where they are and what bait that you need to use to catch them, okay? So that is the magic formula to get past the blindfolded archer trap, okay? Understanding who your customers are, where they are, and what bait you're going to use to catch them. Now, we're going to go deeper into the bait. We're going to go deeper into where they are, how you're going to capture them in the next video. But I want you guys to get the overall principle and really understand what we're doing here. So the next one, secret number two, USP or your unique selling proposition, all right? What makes you unique to your competitors, okay? And is that on your website? Now, the very first thing I, I, I would like to ask you, if you were sitting right here in front of me, I'd say, hey, Joe, let me ask you a question. What would cause me to do business with you over your competitors? What would be that deciding factor? Why would I want to do business with you over everybody else? And Joe would probably give me this canned answer that everybody gives me. Well, I've been in this for 20 years. I've been doing this for this long, and I'm a master craftsman, and you know, so on and so on. So now get this, Joe. That's everybody's unique selling proposition, so it's not unique. You have to find something better, okay? Your USP, your unique selling proposition has to be unique to everybody, okay? Everybody. And I'm going to give you guys tons of examples, okay? Because when you do come up with a great USP, a unique selling proposition, you literally go from an unwanted pest to a welcome guest. And that is absolutely where you want to be because I talk to a lot of people and they're like, well, hey, I do marketing. I sell things. I People come into my shop and I sell to them. 
I, I look at it and say, well, marketing and sales is totally different. That's two different things because when you do your marketing properly, it's much easier to make the sale. Much, much easier to make the sale. Okay. Whenever you market, you get people that are pre qualified coming through your door. You get people that are pre motivated to purchase your services coming through your door. You spend a ton less time on the phone trying to convince these people to work with you because your marketing was done properly. Okay. Now, there are ways that we're going to go into as far as how that works. We're going to go into the videos. We're going to go into um, some of the different social proof techniques to show people that you're well-reviewed. I mean, that's a very important thing. We're going to go very, very deep into that in the next video. But this video right here, I just want to stick to the idea, okay? I want you to get an overall picture of where I'm going right here. Marketing versus sales, okay? Marketing done properly will literally, people will be beating a path to your door. See, I don't like to do sales. I don't like to sit on the phone and try to convince somebody that I'm the best or try to convince them that they should come use me, okay? If, if you're on the phone trying to convince people that they should use you, then you should be looking at your marketing a little bit closer because you should be pre-vetting these people. These people should already be pre-educated, okay? And when I say educated, the form of marketing that I use is an educational-based marketing system because the best people out there and the best clients and customers, they want to be educated by you, okay? They want you to teach them why your services are best for them. And when you convey that message properly, they will be willing to pay you more than all of your competition, period. So right here is the last secret that we're going to go into, and it is market positioning, okay, guys? So it's very important to think about that, all right? Market positioning. How do you look from the outside looking in? Do you look like a compelling company? Do you have social proof behind you? Do you have people um, writing and ranting and raving about your services, your reviews? Do you have beautiful photos on your website showing you working on very nice vehicles that gain trust, that gain rapport with the clients and customers? Do you have well shot before and after photos? Do you have good videos on there that they can watch? Because I'm telling you guys, I've been doing videos for years. It, it, that is one of the biggest selling um, tools that will literally sell for you. What I, what I love it is I can, I can go to sleep at night and right before I go to bed, I, I can say, wow, I'm like, I've got an entire sales staff of videos out there selling for me all night long. Okay. And it doesn't even have to be that hard. And your videos can be created with several different techniques um, that would work in just about every market. And we're going to go over a ton of that. I'm going to be teaching a ton of that um, in the next, uh, in the next video. But um, for this video right here, I'm just going to stick to uh, the idea. I want you to think about that, okay? So the next video is going to be released on this coming up Friday. But for today, I want you guys to understand about market positioning. How does a client and customer feel when they get on your website and they see what you got going on? And how would that make them feel that you're unique and they would want to purchase only from you, okay? So right there it is, guys. The second video will be released on Friday. And um, I really appreciate you guys coming along for this video here. And I'm going to jump out of the, the screen share. Let me see here. We'll get out of it there. And I will try to jump out of this here. Stop the screen share. And what I'll be doing, guys, is I, I am a little bit out of time right now, but on Friday, I will also be breaking down um, what makes a wonderful website. You know what I mean? I'm going to be talking about call to actions. I'm going to be talking about social proof. I'm going to be talking about ethical persuasion on how to persuade clients and customers to directly work with you. So anyhow, you guys, I hope you appreciated this first video. The second one, again, will be dropped next uh, on this coming up Friday. So I hope you guys have a good day, YouTube audience, and I appreciate you. And I'm going to see you on the next one.